Hey guys, Dr. Davis at the Davis Medical Group in East Texas. Today we're talking about a hormone that can fix mood problems, physical problems, and sexual problems. You want this, you want it. I promise. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button below. Come see us. Follow us. Uh, I'm giving you tons of good information. Uh, comment if you want me to do anything specific. I'll be happy to do a video on your particular concern. Okay, so what are we talking about? Of course we're talking about the king of all hormones for men and women. So take the mane off, turn this into a lioness. Testosterone is good for men and women both. This is mine, so it looks like a boy. But otherwise, testosterone is male and female. So the five things I want you to know about testosterone to get started, we'll call this testosterone 101. First is that as you age, testosterone falls. For women, believe it or not, it starts in your 20s. For men, it's about the 30s, although uh, I'd be a perfect example of how it started a little sooner than that, but it goes down. There's a lot of reasons for that. Oh my goodness. The hormonal uh, umbrella starts at cholesterol and comes on down. There are many switches that change the direction that the train is rolling depending on what your body needs. The more stress you have, the less testosterone and estrogen you need. So you make more progesterone. Why? Because progesterone is the mother of cortisone. Cortisone is the hormone that you need when you're stressed. And naturally, when you're stressed, your body will change the train tracks to go down to the cortisol pathway. That steals your testosterone. Imagine being deployed. Imagine being a first responder and every phone call, your body has to be on edge, ready to go. Uh, where do you think the hormones are gotten from? They're stolen from testosterone and cortisol goes up to manage the stress and testosterone always stays low. Um, it's, it's amazing. And that how it starts in your 20s and 30s. So we're, we're trying to decide whether we want to treat with medications or whether we want to treat with hormones. That brings up number two. The list of medications that we use to treat the symptoms of low testosterone is extensive because the symptoms of testosterone deficiency in men, men and women both is also very extensive. Uh, everything from insomnia, I have a pill for that. Uh, depression, I have a pill for that. Irritability, pill for that. Anxiety, pill for that. Joint pain, pill for that. Uh, goodness sakes, libido, mm, we're working on that pill. Uh, but erectile dysfunction, pill for that. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Or, in my mindset, maybe fix the testosterone and you won't need all of those medicines or maybe a whole fewer. A whole lot less of them or fewer of them so we have a pill for that everything pill 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 I don't live that way and I know you don't want to live that way either uh, certainly I prescribe medicines I'm, an, I'm a medicine doctor I treat people from birth to death with diseases um, you know it's like I can't get them fixed or your genetics are so bad that we've got to treat you so we treat you but at, in the background we have this obvious problem this deficiency in hormones and today we're talking about testosterone so the third thing I want you to know is that testosterone, I would say, is crucial for your overall health. It's the foundation that your mental and physical health is built upon. So just like the three little pigs and the big bad wolf, what are you going to build your house out of? Testosterone is the bricks. It's the concrete. It's the structurally sound building material that allows you to be fortified, allows you to uh, withstand the storm and allow, uh, survive the stress. You need the testosterone to stay up. It needs to be there. Um, many, many times in the practice people come in and the biggest complaints are going to be mood. So there's your number four. Most of the symptoms that I treat in my clinic on a daily basis for testosterone are mood related. I don't feel good. I'm sad. I don't have any joy. Uh, I'm angry. I'm irritable. I hit walls. Oh goodness, guess what? Your testosterone isn't high enough to provide you with the relief from the stress and the hormone problems that you need so that you can live through that. And so what we look at a lot is for 30 years, that was a Prozac patient. That was a Lexapro patient. That was an Effexor patient. That was an antidepressant or an anxiety medicine. In my mind, my first thought when I hear of that in a relatively young, relatively healthy person is, oh my God, your tea is probably nothing. So we check it. If it's normal, then it's something else. If it's low, then we're gonna fix the testosterone before we throw around medicines, or sometimes we do both. I mean, some people need both. That's what you need a professional for. That's what we're here for. And so 
the fifth thing I really want you to know is that low T causes a lot of physical ailments. Physical ailments. I, I can tell you from personal experience, when my testosterone gets really low, my body hurts. And when my testosterone is good, my body very rarely hurts. Um, I have a couple nagging aches, but my body feels like I need to go see a rheumatologist when my testosterone is low. Uh, I have hormone pellets, which I love. Uh, so mine only go low at the end of the five month cycle if I wait too long. If I get the pellet on time, then I don't go into that valley and I don't feel that way. But I can tell I'm getting close to the time because my tendons start hurting, my joints start hurting. And I realize that when I fix my testosterone, boom, it's like the best anti-inflammatory shot in the world. And so those are the five things. It falls with age. I don't care who you are. Um, most people are on multiple medications polypharmacy so we wind up with a bunch of elderly people on too many medicines because we're trying to treat the symptoms of low testosterone um, it's crucial for your health you can't live without it um, it does affect mood dramatically and finally it gives you significant physical ailments that we treat over and over and over again and then you go so have surgery to fix some of those problems and the recovery time is delayed because you don't have the steroid uh, and the steroid benefit of the testosterone to rebuild your muscles and tendons and improve your healing time so come see us. We're happy to help you. I think low T is a crucial thing. I'm so thankful the last five years I've seen a, have seen an increase in people understanding testosterone and treat it. I have been treating testosterone for many, many, many years, uh, 20 years to be frank. And I think that it's an important thing that you need for your fundamental health. It has to be done right. You need somebody who knows what they're doing. We know what we're doing here at the Davis Medical Group. Come see us. We'll be happy to help you. Uh, again, click subscribe below. Please watch these videos. I have many more that are like this that you'll enjoy. Uh, and if you have any other in the comments below, please tell me what you'd like to hear. I'll be happy to address any issues that you have. Uh, have a great day. Thanks.